it all comes down to one thing, and that is what? It is the arrival of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And that's what we are here gathered today. We are celebrating the arrival of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the best of all creation. And Alhamdulillah, uh, Bilal Ameen, all praises are most definitely to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and praises are to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And indeed, lots of blessings that my Shaykh have given us, and the teaching that our Shaykh Shaykh have given us that we're all gathered here today. We are gathered here to do one thing, and that is to celebrate the milad of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. But what does this milad part do? Why is there so much emphasis on celebrating the milad of Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam? Not just from pious people, not just from one sect, but from Allah subhanahu wa taala Himself. Why has Allah promoted? That celebrate Nabi Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Time and time again in the Holy Quran, Allah Kareem has spoken about the arrival of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The reason why Allah has has done that is that we gather in such a mahfil. What do we do? We praise Allah subhanahu wa taala. We praise Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. We thank Allah for the favor that He done in sending Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And what else do we do? We talk about the Holy Quran. And we learn from the hadith about. <coughs> and what do we do with that? We we take that back. We reflect on that, and we go home and we act upon it. And this Bani Sharif Mefil is what it takes us to do. This is what it promotes us to do: is to sit down and reflect on ourselves. Is to sit down and learn about Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And it's such mefils where the love of Rasulullah sallam comes in our heart. And to pause here. And to make you understand that the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the adab of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is farz. It is farz. It's not something that's optional. It is farz. It is farz. One from all the examples, I'll give you one example, a very well-known example that we all know. From from one of the Sahabis, <coughs> one of the very pious Sahabis, Hadrat. Ali, when they were blessed, when they were blessed, when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam were resting on their lap, the time for namaz came. What, what, what namaz was it? Does anyone know? Asr. Thank you. So that means you are paying attention. Thank you very much. Asr salah. The time came, and the time went. Where was their mind? Where was their thought? Where was their eyes? Indeed, it was during the ziyara of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Because they knew, and they taught us. What did they teach us? That farz is the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Why? Because the one that gets the farz, the one that gains the farz of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the love, then that person does not miss his namaz. That person does not miss any good deed, because that person becomes that individual. Who does not miss anything? Why? Because they know that my beloved Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that if you do this action, I am pleased. Allah is pleased, and you do it for that reason. So, by me, Sharif Mafil, this Mafil, what does it teach us? It teaches us the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, which without we would not be able to do any actions. And if we are doing any actions, then that action is not giving us the benefit that it should. The benefit that it should, because we. We go to masajids and we hear that yes, you should be praying namaz. And when you when you pray namaz, it stops you from sin. But sometimes we think and sit down and say, oh, "Hold on, it's not stopping me from doing sin." <laughs> then there is something, there's something wrong in my namaz. Something wrong that I'm doing in namaz. Sure. Why <coughs> I'm still committing sin? So until we don't have the love of Rasulullah sallam, then we are not going to gain this farz. I'm, I'm moving very, very quickly. I did have a lot to say, but there's a lot of people, so I'm moving as quick as I can. My small request to everyone, to every single individual, before um, in, in, in this mehfil, from the start of, of this mehfil, my young brothers, beautiful brothers, my young, very young brothers, every one of them stood up praising Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Some, some are read in English, some are read in Urdu. What, whatever they could understand in Arabic, whatever they understood. They praise Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Indeed, this is the teaching of our Shaykh. This is the giving of our Shaykh by by sitting in their presence. Look, kids that don't speak 
the language they're, they're praising Rasulullah So my first request, which is mentioned earlier by, by everyone that spoke before me, I'm just repeating that, that please, all the adults, all the fathers, please humbly I request that do bring your children to, to the Mephilim Milad. Do bring your children and prep them. Give them, give them whatever you have to prep them so that they read, recite, not the path of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Can be in English, can be in Urdu, whichever language you prefer. Because if we don't understand that language, the one who you're reading for, they do. And in, in essence, you read for them. If you are learning the Holy Quran and you know one, one surah by heart, come and present that. If you learned a hadith, uh, 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 a hadith part in mosque, or you sat down with someone and they taught you something, come and share it, even if it's for two minutes. Like that, you will get blessings, and those that are listening will get blessings from you. So that's my first humble request, that please bring your children, and all the children, all my, my young brothers, please come prepared to this method, so that you can give your, so that you can give your presence. And in that register, when the register goes down, because indeed it is told that when any mephil happens, <laughs> there are angels standing outside and they write the names of all those people that have come. And for all those people that have come, our names are written. And then what about that person who stands up to praise Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam?